Miles Zebra Heard, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today, we are returning to the depths once more. We are getting closer and closer to filling out the entire map down here, but before we get into it too much, I've been meaning to talk to the Poe statue thing over here so that we can maybe request another location of a brethren. You appear to already know the locations of all of my brethren. Never, never mind. Okay, we got them all. I didn't realize that. So does that mean that that's just everything here? I guess so. So, yeah, we got all that stuff. Never mind. I thought that there would have been more, but I guess not. So I'm glad that we got that done. So yeah, at this point, I'm just fully focused on running through here, finding maps like this or map locations like this, wherever I haven't been, and uh, clearing out things with the light route. So that should be pretty good. As a warm up, I'll start with this one. I haven't been over here. Let's get over there and figure out what that treasure chest might be holding. All right, so we're heading in this direction, but look who's waiting for us. We got a Lionel over here. It's also a white main Lionel. I don't know if I want to mess with it for right now. If I can just make my way over to the X marks the spot, that's what I'm mostly focused on. There's a Traveler's Spear over there, it looks like. I think. Traveler's Claymore, actually. That's a lot more tempting. I'll grab that. Sure, why not? Um, Then as we're heading up there, I think we're getting closer to what we're after. It's a little bit more to the left. Which, I just picked up a bomb flower. I might just, Bubinga, Bubinga Grove, okay? Uh, I just wanted to be able to grab a couple of these real fast, ow! Looks like I'm able to do that a little bit. Because somewhere in this grove we should have a treasure chest waiting for us, which is mostly what I'm focused on. So I'm running over, oh no, ouch. All right, somewhere over here, right? Should probably just make it a map marker, if I can, not that kind of map, map marker, this kind. Just like that, we'll be able to get over there. But usually these groves, oh, there's a cell horse, I wanna jump on that. Usually these groves have their own chest. Hmm, I don't see anything for now, but maybe at some point. I just wanna run over here really fast so that we can, whoa, there's, a, there's another, cluster things over that way, but I just wanted to hop on the one of you if possible. Come on, I'm getting over there. I guess I do run away a little too fast, but if I go like this, come on, hop on, hop on. There we go. Nice. All right, we're, we're, making, we're making friends with you. I just want to zoom out of here though, so that maybe it won't be that hard of a trip to get to this thing. Oh wait, is it another Coliseum? I think it is. I don't know how I didn't realize that, which is scary, but not anything we can't handle. There's also this, that you can already see in the distance over there. I wanna make sure we get that. But for now, we're at the secluded Coliseum in the west secluded depths. Can I go in here with the horse? I guess so. Uh, All right, open up the treasure chest. All right, who are we fighting? Okay, just a couple of Zolfos. We can handle that, right? Here, I'll hop off of you, and I'll go boom, boom. That didn't work. Uh, that's fine. We'll switch weapons here for a bit. I got the silver Moblin hammer. Gotcha, pretty good, but not quite enough. Uh, here, ow, help me out here, guys, <laughs> please. Get ready, get you back, get you back. I think they're fire Zolfos, so if I, hold on. There you go. <laughs> That deals with you pretty well. What do we got next? I think these are the Isles office. So if I switch over again, Ruby Staff. There you go. Did that not work? Uh, there you go. Much better. Um, I don't know if this one's gonna, I gotta let it recharge for a second. But as soon as it does, boom, one hit takedown. That's what we wanna see. We got the electric ones, which they don't really have that same level of weakness to them. So I'll have to choose something else. I could try the Star Fragment Staff. I haven't really used this too much. I don't know, damage-wise, what it really does. I don't know, it's weird, it doesn't really do anything. All right, switch to this, boom, boom. Hit you a couple times. I see the other one, too. Hold on, not good. Uh, let me switch to a weapon that can really slash at you. Right now, that's a Lizophus, and all Lizophus, whatever this is. The Bone Hand. Focal one Arm, and then catch. Nice. Um, I want to combine the Master Sword with something. Yeah, let's go by Fuse Attack Power. I'll do one of these blue-white Frox Fangs. That'd be pretty cool, actually. 
Ready and fuse, nice. I'm coming to catch it, there you go. The horse is just waiting to leave over there. We got another one. Okay, that didn't work. I was very hopeful it would. I am getting low on arrows though. I need to be really careful with that and try to get some more arrows soon. Okay, got you pretty good there. And then keep swinging. Everybody's just attacking you. Ooh, ow, ooh, that one hurt. I was not expecting that fast of a swing. Come on, get back up. Nice. Is that the last one? Nope, we got a whole group of them now. Not good. I'll take whatever I can. My master sword is all charged up. Okay, <laughs> hold on. I think yeah, some of these are special little enemies. So if I could just... Whoa, yeah, you're frozen. <laughs> They're freezing each other here. This is crazy. Um, Go over this way and do that. That didn't work. Okay, a ruby staff broke. Whatever. Knocking you back a little bit with this one. And gotcha. And then you over here, you're done for. Who else are we fighting? Ow! You. <laughs> Never mind, we got it. Awesome, great work, everybody. We cleared it out. So we'll see uh, what that's got for us in a moment. But uh, for right now, I just want to go grab all this stuff too. Nice. So we got a lot of different monster parts from all these battles. And then I can kick this treasure chest open. We're gonna have some kind of new piece of gear. Rabio's hood, the hood of a traveling merchant who had a bracelet that could turn the wearer into a painting. Wearing it increases your sideways climbing speed. It's a rather rare find. It's a very neat uh, concept too. Sideways climbing speed. I think this was also in Breath of the Wild, but it's cool to see it here too. Okay, I'll get this back on and I don't think I really need any of these. So with that all cleared out, I can remove this pin and we can get out of here and I guess over to the one Yiga clan thing, which if the horse is over there, yeah, I'll ride the horse over. That might be the most efficient way to get it done. All right. Oh, let me grab my arrow as well. I really need more of those. It's okay. There we go. And then get you just to go down the staircase and over to the green marker that we have on the map. Whoa, I know, I know. This way, this way. You got it. There we go. Let's see what's going on with this one then. So, just another Yiga clan hideout, but I'm trying to get as many of these as I can uh, because it's important to get them all cleared out. We'll get all the schematics and stuff. That was definitely a fun one. I'm glad that we got another Colosseum figured out and I see you over here. So I'm just going to, wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, that's really not good. Um, What if I just hop on top of the box, please? I can't do that. <laughs> I didn't realize. Gotcha. There we go, problem solved. Not fun to deal with, but we find our way through and that's gonna open that up. So if I could just get through there, get that all cleared out, that'd be great. Gonna get all these, fly up like this, and run over here. I just want to see this. But where the large roots found throughout the depths, while they are sturdy and can provide a safe path across gloom, they hide danger. Gloom seems to ooze out of the suspicious looking red and black roots. These roots can't be cut down or burned. The safest course is to avoid them. Glory to Master Koga. All right, well, we've definitely had a good experience with the gloom. I don't want to experience any more of it. I've put my time in. Let's go ahead and grab some more of the crystallized charges, though. We'll get 20 more points here. And over this way, we will get a Yiga schematic. This time, right there, the scatter trap. What is that? <laughs> Interesting. Um, I'll grab one of the arrows that you fired at me. Oh, thank you. Free arrows, I'll really take them, because I really need them. With that done, you can see that this area is pretty well cleared out. I think what we want to do, I do see this one down here. That has me curious. That's probably one of them. If I were to put a marker here, and I, I teleport to this one, I could probably just glide down there and get something. Let's find out. Okay, so we're going to fly over to this mine. This one really shouldn't be too big of a deal, especially since... We're sort of above ground with it right now. We can fly down there and probably find it without too much of an issue. 
Yep, just a little bit more traveling, but it looks like it's right down here. And if there's gonna be a treasure chest, it'll be right in that little square area there. Canyon of Awakening Mine. Is that really where we are right now? Huh, okay, Peak of Awakening. Gotcha. And inside of here, as you can see, treasure chest time. So will this have a Breath of the Wild one? No, it'll just have a large crystallized charge. Not as exciting as I was hoping, but it's still something we needed to find, so I'm glad that we found it. Uh, for other stuff, I don't see anything immediately jumping out at me that I definitely need to get done. But one thing is clearing out more of this stuff. So if I were to go to this one, I think we could just travel due east and get these other light routes. So I will do this, I'll go like this, boom, boom. And then we'll teleport to this one and make our way over. All right, so we're back to exploring. We're just gonna be following the yellow marker. So far now it's a little bit tough, but I think we could probably, oh my, jump up here, ready, one last jump. Got it. I don't think I wanna build anything just yet, but soon enough, we're at the Retsim Grove, which I guess we haven't been to before. I've also not been here, so that's probably another point of interest. Just so many different little spots in the depths we need to just run to and get done. I feel like I've gotten faster and faster at clearing them out, but there's still so much stuff to do. This game is just so gigantic all the time, you know? <laughs> but, I mean, we're getting cr crazy progress sooner or later. You know, it's just last, or the few episodes ago, we got basically all the Sky Islands done, so we're about, you know, most of the way there. That's what I'm trying to get to, and it's pretty high up, so if I don't wanna do any more um, going higher by climbing. Now is the time to put together a quick hot air balloon. So I will probably just do, where is it? Just a basic hot air balloon setup right here. It's only six of them. As long as I'm staying over 100, I'm pretty happy. I just need to make the flame emitter. That's the frost emitter. Here's the flame emitter. Did that work? There it is. Oh, I, I did work before. Whoops. Just didn't even see it. Uh, put that there, and we're going up. So I just need to get high enough up that we can fly over to that, which really shouldn't be too big of a deal. It's just so much more preferable to do this than to fly or, the, or to climb. So yeah, let's get to it. And then after that we can just, this one's higher up. So we prioritize this, but then as soon as it's done, we fly over to that one. And as we're heading up, I guess I should change my gear over to, um, where is it? Right here, the minor gear. Nope, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Didn't mean to unpause. There we go. So it makes it ever so slightly easier to see. I do wanna get a little bit more above it. That way it's easier just to glide across, but we will uh, be able to see a whole lot more in here once we get there. So I think now's a good time. I can just glide like that. Maybe I could have waited a little bit longer, but I think we're okay. Tulin's flying li w with us after all. So I think we'll be okay. Come on, one more time. Good boost, good boost. We're almost there. <laughs> yeah, I definitely could have waited a second before jumping off the hot air balloon, but I can activate this one. This is the Kimmy Med Medina light room. All right, so we'll skip that just for time's sake, but this is one out of two in this area. And you can see there's definitely some stuff down that way that might be of our interest. Okay. So I might wanna just make that a marker because I'm, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a Yiga hideout. I might be wrong, but that's my guess. Over this way, we don't have this marked out either. This is certainly some kind of cave I don't or mining situation. I don't know if it's going to be anything too crazy though. It's right below us. It might even be wise to do this and then teleport back up and glide back over again. Let's see, I'm guessing this one isn't gonna be too crazy, the Walnut Canyon mine. Probably just more of that crystallized energy or whatever. Yep, large crystallized charge. So we're up to almost 100 of it. So I will go back up here and glide back over again. All right, so I'm just simply gliding over a little bit more and getting from one to the other really isn't too bad. Okay, one more time, there we go, there we go. And I think we'll just land right next to this one. Perfect. With this cleared out, we're at a really good spot. We got the Siakij Lightroom. 
Gonna skip all this stuff and boom. Look at that. Okay, so the light would just build the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. So to the west, we have that one mine I definitely wanna jump over towards. But then there's also this, the Wellspring of Wisdom. I have been here before, so I don't think we need to worry about that one. And with that being said, I think that's really most of this area cleared out pretty well. So let's just jump down to this one green marker I have. And then I think we'll be good to look for other spots where I could get another light route. So I think that's, yeah, I can already see it in the distance. At this rate, seeing how easy these are to get to, I'm guessing it's another crystallized charge. Be an ever now. Good not to assume, I suppose. And regardless if it is or not, it's worth getting to for like the completion of it or whatever. All right, almost there. The Madorna Canyon Mine. So I will end right here, open this one up, and inside, was I right? I was right, the large crystallized charge. Awesome, so we got that done. With that being said, this whole area is pretty well cleared out. I wanna make my way down here, because we have found some stuff, but not all the stuff. Right here, we have a shrine, and then right over here, we'll have a shrine. When it comes to the best way to get over there, you would think this, that might be the case. It might be a little confusing, but I was thinking maybe the water's in the way. So going this way is not gonna work. The water always leads to walls in the depths, like you see here, it's, it's a wall. Or here, it's a wall. So I think if I'm gonna have to go all the way over here anyways, would it be faster to start from somewhere else? I mean, I'm sure there's even more in this direction, so I haven't really explored the fair and grasslands above ground, so maybe this will be a good way for me to actually find out where the shrines are above ground too. I'll start from here and we'll just move east. Okay, so this is the direction we wanna head. With that being said, I don't really see much in terms of, I don't know what's down there. Okay, it looks like just extra ore. I don't see much in terms of the light routes just yet, but if I travel this way, you can see, okay, that's just gloom. It's nothing but darkness so far. That might, you know, change as we adventure around more and more. There's gotta be a light route. What is that? Uh, oh, it's Colgara. It's, you could just barely see that. That's terrifying. We'll definitely snap a picture of it. Oh no. It's just like this little smudge you could just barely make out. Terrifying. I'm glad I finally got it for my compendium. I didn't realize that you're just cruising around here. Like, come on, get out of here. Oh no. But I guess I could head down this way and get one of the caves, or not the mines. I don't know if I wanna fight you right now. I mean, it's been a while since we've fought Colgara. Well, we got the Grenage Canyon mine right over here. So I just wanna get down here a little bit more and boom, got it. What do you know? Large crystallized charge again, we're up to 129 of it. Pretty good. But over here, it looks like there's a little building section. I wanna take advantage of that for sure. Oh, ugh. Learning over the gloom accidentally. The Daval Canyon Mine. There's another one? I guess over here, on the other side of the thing. Oh. So maybe I should go check that out? Where is it? Right over here. Oh, this one? It's so weird how close they are to each other. The neighboring mines. I can only guess it's going to be more crystallized charges. There's nothing fancy to it, so. Open it up. I mean, it's great to have these. I wanna up my battery more and more, so we're up to a total of 149 so far. I'll have to go to some of the refineries soon to get even more of it. But you know what, if I could get Unobo's help, I do wanna get, oh, okay, maybe not for this one, but I do wanna get more stuff. I'll just bust this one up on myself. I wanna make sure we're at least staying over 100 wherever I can. I can hear it, Colgara straight above us. Oh, man. I don't think it's a good idea to fight that thing until I have 
the brightness ramped up. You know what I mean? We can find another one of those light roots. Okay, I wanna get you, boom, right there. That should have broke a lot of them. Oh yeah, the floor is littered with it now. Getting us all the way back up to 27 of the big ones and 118 of the little ones. That's nice. Am I still going the right way? I mean, more or less. Oh, okay, you found me, you found me. Not good. Are we fighting you? I don't know. It looks like you know the wind's going upwards. Hey, if I could use you as a shortcut, I'll take that the music is awesome. The problem is I can't see the dude. I don't know what's going on. Oh, he's above me. I will come back for you. Don't worry. If you want to fight, it's a fight you're gonna get. But when I can actually see it. Whoa. I can't see a darn thing right now. Okay, buddy, watch it. <laughs> what I'd rather do is just also maybe fire off some bright bloom seeds with this. <laughs> just to once again, maybe just make everything a little bit more visible because I'm getting really disoriented here. If I just go this way, you would think, yeah, right there, right there, okay. Will you please leave me alone? Don't attack me with that stuff. I'll come right back and fight you soon enough. This one really should brighten things up. So I'll head right over there. And I don't even know if that's the one I would have on my marker. Doesn't seem like it. So that at least guarantees that there's a shrine up there I haven't found. Come on. Almost there. Thank you for all the boosts, so I do appreciate that. Whoa. Quite a view around here. Come on, we are almost there. The music fades away as we got a little more separated. But I think we got it. All right, one more time, Tulin. Good boost. I will land right here, and we will be getting to the Nikosi Light Route. There we go. Excellent. So the light dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area once again. So that's good. The only problem I'm noticing is I'll have to go all the way up there again, which I guess lines up with all that. But now we know that there's definitely something here. So if I could just, hmm, maybe remove this marker. I know it's there. If I go like this, there you go. That would be good to keep in mind. So I just need to go over this way like this direction, northeast. And we'll have to go past that wall, around it, and then back down again. But that will get us to two more light routes. That would be a pretty big thing to get done. And looking around on the map, I'm not seeing like there's a grove here, which I guess walking around the groves is still pretty important because it's probably some kind of like, oh, you traveled over this thing. You have discovered it. So that's important to do eventually. If we want to come back and you know get this game 100%, having each area go, oh, you found it, is technically contributing to that. Okay. Let's get over here, Papetto Grove, which once again, I don't think there's gonna be anything in Papetto Grove. A lot of these groves just don't seem to have much in that way. But sometimes they do, so maybe I should check it. Before I say that definitively, if they have a big tree trunk, that definitely seems to make it more likely. Oh, hey, here we go. Okay, so, yeah, it's weird because it doesn't even mark that on the map. I'll go into this one, and inside, large crystallized charge. <laughs> I mean, these are great to find, for sure. It's just not all of them have a piece of gear. Okay, so now I just need to focus on going north, basically, following this wall until the wall goes away. We got something over here for a weapon. Guess I'll climb up to grab that. Ooh, that looks like another soldier's claymore. Great to have that. We just need to keep going this way. Because eventually I'll just be able to turn right around and get two more of the, the light routes. But after that, the, the southern end of the map is done. Pretty crazy. Then we just have the northern end of it. That'll be pretty good. All right, let's keep moving after this. Oh no. 
Hmm. There's not much to do around here except for just walk forward. Oh no. Oh, okay, actually. Don't follow the wall to a T because we'll just end up sort of wasting some time. Is this another one? Uh, I think so. The claymores are good to have. And they're sparkly, so I think that might mean that they have added durability to some extent, maybe, who knows? I would just like to get up here, and then finally we can sort of pull a U-turn around this thing. Okay, oh, I lost a heart there, darn. Oh, and it sort of goes down too, so that's useful, because it means I can glide through some of it without it being as much of a hassle. I think I'll land here and then ascend upwards. Yep, got it. I'm really glad we got the photo of Colgara though. That's been something I've been meaning to do. I, I mean, I sort of totally forgot, but filling out the whole compendium is something I wanna get done eventually. Over here now. We are getting a whole lot closer. And some of these spots, like I've never been to, but I guess just by getting this one, I lit it all up. Something like that. Hmm. And there's no depths entrance that I'm aware of from over here. That would have made it easier to get over. Which, you know, there could be one that I'm just not aware of. Chances are there is. But you never know. Anyways, not worth getting too carried away with. If I just go like this, we'll keep going. We'll find that Shrine of Light somewhere. Okay, ouch. Yeah, those are the the roots you can't dig. That was the thing the, uh, the Yiga Clan were talking about. Okay, we're reaching some water. Ah, uh, is that what I wanted? Let's get up here. If anything, I should probably remove this pin and put it here. Just because that way I can actually focus in more on where I'm going. I, I think I just saw one peeking over the horizon for a moment. I think it's not the one we're going for, but I don't know. Hard to tell now, I don't see it anymore. Okay, got that bomb flower. I think now might be a good time to do this. It's pretty dark. Ooh, there's gonna be a lot, of, a lot of water here, isn't there? Not too much. I should just be able to swim through this part. Be okay? I think. Yeah, we have enough stamina. Maybe I'm being a little bit more direct with my approach than what's necessary, but as long as we get there. That's all I really care about. There's just like too much of a variation in the layout half the time to really have one specific means of travel, but we're definitely getting there. Sometimes just running through and climbing through is the best thing you can do. Whoa, okay, here. I can glide through this part, I think once again, doing, oh no, I hate it when I do that. <laughs> All right, go again. There's another weapon for us to grab. It's not the claymore, it's the other thing. Uh, the, no, it is the claymore, Never mind. Cool, so now we got the knight's claymore. Almost there, just gotta climb up another rock. And we've made it to another shrine of light. Awesome, or I guess light root. The Kosutsu light root. So one more to go and then the southern side of the depths is clear, that's awesome. Okay, so what's next for us? We should have a Shrine of Light left to go in this area. So that would be right over here. And you know, we've sort of been there before the Smithing Construct. But that's the other side of the water, I believe. So if I could just, boom, put that there and head over. But I guess before we do, I mean, we're here. Should I try to get this thing done? I don't see any other structures around here. So that's really the main thing I have to focus on. It seems like it's probably gonna be a Yiga Clan hideout. So where was it exactly? Uh, Yeah, right down in this area, sort of, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I see it in the distance. So definitely wanna try to get to that. Just one more thing to clear out. 
And then maybe we can also ride one of the stall horses over. I don't know if that'll help too much with all the water, actually, but what weapon is up there? Just another traveler spear. You know what? I think I'm just good flying and climbing and swimming. So we hop on that stall horse and then what? <laughs> you know, I just have to jump off of it again. But I can do this. We're almost there already. Just gotta get over this way. Maybe recover our stamina for a second, if possible. And then off we go again. Just need to get over here. Ooh, free boat? I have to take that offer. The person who we're supposed to knock out is flying around right now. If I could just walk up, that might also not be so bad. Okay, I see you over there. Do I have any other keys eyeballs? I do have this, no wait, not that. This um, fire keys eyeball, and quite a few of them, that if I were to do that, and then fire with the Zonite bow, I think I could get you. Come on, oh, that got you good. Crash and burning there, pretty crazy. Good enough for me. I just gotta get over to here now. And while we're landing on this stuff, let's use the eight fold blade to break it because I don't really need this thing. Get a couple more arrows out of it. Ooh, so good. I really need to take the time to get this. Uh oh, turn that off. <laughs> I don't wanna see it. That thing is not fun to deal with. Going over here though, I get crystallized charge and whatever's in here, it's gonna be a Yiga schematic. The water freezer, whoa, cool. And then of course, over this way, if I can get rid of this maybe. Uh, I mean, it's not bothering me right now. I think it's pointed outwards. Base manual construction, volume one. Relay bases must be built to facilitate safe and effective navigation of the depths. When choosing a site for a base, consider locations where the terrain can be used to defend against monsters. One, choose a high location that monsters can't reach. Construction may be difficult, but the protection will be worth the effort. Two, create a sand bank surrounded by water. Most monsters can't swim. When building, a three, when building on flat terrain is unavoidable, sufficiently fortify defenses with barricades. See volume two for information about base operation and management. Glory to Master Koga. All right, that was pretty good. Oh no, I've been spotted. I've been spotted. I wanna get over to this thing if I can, just so that I can grab this stuff and then we're out of here. I'll hop back to the shrine and then we'll head east to get to this one. Okay, so instead of going south for the, oh my, it's you. Are you a new one? No, you're back to being an obsidian frox, which I don't think they're as high tier as the blue white foxes. So I'm not so worried about it. I'm just gonna go around you and head over this way. I don't see anything else to grab, any kind of landmark location to worry about right now. I mean, I'm sure these groves might be something to consider at some point, but for right now, I'm avoiding it and I'm avoiding you. <laughs> I don't wanna deal with you. I'm just gonna keep running and hopefully I get away from you in time. No, don't eat me, don't eat me, don't eat me, don't do it, don't do it. Okay, not good. Uh, Come on, get away from me. We can always come back and fight you later. I'm just trying to get to the purple marker. I do see way over here, a luminous stone one. I think I've gotten a picture of you. Stone talus luminous, I have. I think there might be one more stone talus we do need to get a picture of at some point but it's whatever. All right, run over here. If I take damage, I take damage. Okay, I'm scared. You are still right behind me. That is not a fun thing to see when I turn around. And now the stone talus wants to fight. What do you know? I'm just so popular today, huh? All right, keep it going. I'm just gonna keep running, because I can see, no, that's, that, that's not it. I thought I saw the, the light of the light route, but that is just a torch of more enemies that are gonna be throwing stuff at us. Great. <laughs> Why does the depths have to be so dangerous? Why couldn't it have been just a land of peaceful, free stuff? That would have been much more preferred. Okay, well, I do wanna go over here, I think launch a couple more of the Bright Blooms with uh, this. 
Nice. Just to make things a lot more visible. Oh, they saw that. But I think we're getting there. Well, actually, while I'm over here, I see this box. I wanna break this box and see if inside, any arrows? Yeah, a couple of arrows. That's great, because I'm down to 28 of them. I want a lot more than that. How is the stone talus still on us? Okay, it finally got off. I don't even see where it is. Does it just have good eyesight? Was it really following the whole time? Who knows? There we go. We're getting really close to it, but is it like above or below? Oh, it's below. This is the, the, the root of it. Yeah, here it is. Okay, so I just wanna lower myself down a bit. And the ooh, 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 jaj, layer root. <laughs> All right, glad to get this one done. So like I said before, for the actual visual of the map, we're in the clear, that's fantastic. Now when it comes to actually like, you know, exploring it in terms of getting every map marker, there might be some other stuff I still need to find, but I definitely think we've done a good job so far. So if we wanna take a look at the map now, like I said before, this whole southern part totally cleared out, but, uh down, actually, hold on, let me make sure this marker's deleted. Down here, this one has me interested. First off, it looks like two separate little sections, which, how would I get to here, you know? That is actually not an area I've really been to at all, so that probably means that there is another Shrine of Light up here on the surface. Additionally, this one is under Hyrule Castle. It's under this one, which sort of makes me concerned. How would I get to that without just getting to the, like, initiating the end of the game? And that's where I was like, maybe I won't be able to do that one just yet. I'm not sure. But there's plenty of other stuff to focus on. We still have all these X marks of spots here. So much space to clear out up here, actually. So I think that, you know, for now, it's better to focus on this stuff anyways. I probably won't be able to get it all cleared out today anyways, just because of how much stuff it is, but there is definitely some things we can start with. And with it, I'm just still looking to see if there's any kind of depths entrance, because it's crazy how we'll, like, we'll have so many depths entrances down here. There's like five of them, six of them, all in this cluster. Another two here, actually a third down there, another one up here, but then there's like none up here. That doesn't seem right but I don't see any on the map. So they could just be in like really sneaky spots, but not too much I can do about that. Can't just magically learn where they are. But I do know that there's one here. If I go to the west, I can find more. So from here to there. So that's probably my easiest way to travel over. If I go like this, let's try to get to that one. Okay, so I think we're going off in this direction, following this pink marker. I don't see it just yet, but all I really need to know is that it'll be this way. So that's good. Looks like we probably have a mine over here. I need to get to it at some point too, but I don't know, at this rate, we have so much to do down here that I'm mostly focused on the light routes, more than I am the, the locations at this for the rest of today at the least. I think that's a better move to do. So let's try to run over there if I can. but it's gonna get real dark here in a second. Hmm. And it looks like there's a little building section over here. I might try to craft something with that because it seems like there's a lot going on. I think there's a wall straight ahead. Let's start with this one then. So. I have the flying thing here, but I don't have much else that goes with it. If we go all the way up, I could try to build the riding plane. That might be one of the better things we can do here. We can get some of the fans, getting it a little bit cheaper. Ooh, there's some rockets over here too. All right, um, sure. But honestly, this one might be better. Because I can just strap rockets to it and then we can fly off. This seems good. So build this one, 
totally for free because of that. I wanna launch this stuff over because I really wanna see where exactly we're trying to go. Wow, okay. So going in that direction should be fine. Um, I just need to strap a few rockets on. Or maybe even just one. Just enough so that we're really propelling forward. And then also, of course, the steering apparatus, which I still have a ton of. <laughs> 57. I will put this right there. Uh, that's a little askew. Hold on. There we go. And let's get to it. No time wasted. <laughs> and it was right there the whole time. Why does this always happen to me? I thought it would have been somewhere else. I thought it would have been like way off in that direction. I could have just ran over to it. I feel so silly. It's fine. If I attach another rocket to this thing, if I have any available, maybe I could get to something more. I just don't know if I do. That's the problem with like one of these is that it just doesn't take off very well. But uh, I'll just hop off here, get down this way, and activate the Adawan light route. Now it should clear out a good chunk, right? Yep, right there. Awesome. The light just dispel, dispelled the darkness and surround it, brighten the surrounding area. Cool. So I can definitely remove this pin. If I check out some of the stuff up here, there should be another here. So I can make that marker and try to head over. I don't know what the best way to get up there, but if we have to do climbing, I might as well put on my climbing gear. Uh, which is upwards, right here. Ooh, there we go, got it. Okay, so yeah, heading to the next one. We're just continually following the pink guide marker as I just move it around a little bit. But yeah, I just really wanna try to clear out as much of the light route situation as possible. That way if we do find more X marks to spots or if I just you know, really wanna dedicate time to finding all the mines and groves and Yiga hideouts, I don't have to worry about a ton. I can just you know, travel there basically as easily as possible if I have every single light route activated. So I think that's a good goal to have. And that's what we did for the above ground too. You know, My main focus when exploring the main area was trying to find as many of the towers as possible so that we could travel the, uh, the ground as efficiently as possible with that. Okay, so for this section, I actually might just wanna go over here a little bit more. And then I wonder if I could ascend through that stuff. Not quite, it's too high up. But it should be in this direction. Yep, I think that's it, definitely. So from here, we just get gliding. All right, off we go. And then from that one, we'll have to wait and see. But there should definitely be some other light routes to get to. None of which, oh wait, I was gonna say none of which I see. But if I were to then delete this one and mark that one. Ooh, that's even one that I don't even have. Perfect, good to know. So that's the information you start to figure out. Happy to say. So it's just a long trip over. But we'll get there. We'll definitely get there. And then afterwards, maybe I'll say hello to the Yiga clan members there, just because. I oh, don't know, whoa, didn't mean to do that. But this is definitely another big one to get out of the way. So it's great to have it done. And then there's another one way off in that direction. That one I think I have. And then the X marks the spot is right here. So we'll definitely have some opportunities to keep busy. Which is really good. I mean, maybe if I'm right over it like this, maybe I should just do it now because I'll have to climb all the way up here. I don't wanna have to do that, right? There. No. <laughs> Okay, I honestly thought that would work. Um, where'd you go? Over there, you're flying around, maybe on this side, you'll pop up. Let's make sure I have a better bow equipped for distance. I don't know where you went. Uh, hello, oh there you are. It's still pretty far off, but there. 
There we go. That's how I got it. Nice. So there's that building cleared out. And it's still a little hard to see over here, so I think I will do that. Climb up there, get it done. Nice. And then inside here, I got this one, which has the crystallized charge. And this one that has the Yiga schematic. Which one is it? The floodlights, whoa. Guess that could be useful. It's a little dark. You can make something like that. Whoa, this is a ton of boxes. Five of them. Just bananas and stuff. A couple of arrows. Okay, Wait, could I? Hold on, grab those arrows. That didn't work. Never mind. Uh, would have been cool if it did. Got a few more arrows, and we need to go check out the log over here. It appears that some of the monsters in the area have been mining for the ore particular to the depths. Our fellow Yiga have found them working in large numbers around mineral deposits and even carrying these ores. But why? Could the ore have some special use? Glory to Master Koga. It is weird how we see them mining it, but never see them using it. I don't know if there's some kind of greater motive as they're getting controlled by Ganon, but maybe we'll find out at some point. It is so dark around here. But, I just wanna to get to here, and then we'll turn around and go for that one X marks the spot. That'd be perfect. But first things first, it's time for the light route here. This is the Mu Ufator light route. And a good section of stuff cleared up. Not the biggest section of stuff, but it's something. So at this rate, I just wanna turn around and head towards there. I wonder what weapon we have here. Oh, wait a minute, it's something new? Whoa, hold on, let me get over there right now. I think it's a Knight's Broadsword. That's exciting, how do I not have this one? Knight's Broadsword, cool. Another one for the compendium. Knights of Hyrule Castle once carried this sword. It can yield powerful attacks when you're down to your last heart. That's awesome. Definitely will be making the most out of that. But for right now, we need to fly down this way because there is certainly something in that mine. And I will make it mine. <laughs> All right, and then afterwards we'll get up that way, which for that, it's gonna be way up. I think it'll be better off making an air balloon. This is Hebra Canyon Mine. I'll land right here, open it up, and inside, the Sea Breeze Boomerang. A boomerang said to have been used by the hero who traveled the Great Sea. It smells faintly of salt water. Whoa, cool. I guess uh, I'll drop something for it then. I don't need this spiny bone boomerang. Cool to get a special boomerang. Wasn't expecting that at all. So we'll head up here and I will figure out that air balloon. So I'm flying way up and I see it all right. Oh, don't fall off. Uh, don't fall off. I see it all right. But you know what else I see? I see him all right. Oh no, another Colgara. It's weird that I've explored so much of the depths. I never once ran into Colgara, and now I've run into him twice in one day. This is way higher up than I anticipated, but really makes me think, because we're about to hit the ceiling. It really makes me think, think that there's gotta be, oh, another one here too. Uh, I, I'm guessing that's that one. Uh, it really makes me think that uh, there's gotta be a depths entrance somewhere here. But look at how high up this is, it's crazy. Unfortunately, I won't even quite be able to get over there. Like, I'll need more. Uh, here, really do this and just launch this thing over. I guess maybe not the best place to actually set up the, the balloon. Oh wait, if I can land there, I can maybe set up another balloon. Or maybe I can just interact with you enough that you'll boost me up. Let's try it. Maybe I'll save the game, <laughs> just to be sure of that. Okay, let's get over here. 
and you're gonna try to fight me. Once again, I'm not gonna try to fight you too much. I just want the draft. Sorry to use you that way, but I mean, it works really well for me. Awesome, and we're up here. As simple as that, isn't it? All right, so we'll land right here, go like this, and boom, the Narusis light reader. So it's good to get this one. A huge chunk of the map cleared out with that one. So much room to fight Kolgara if we need it. <laughs> but I don't need it too much right now. About to hit most of this corner cleared out. I just wanna get to this one now then, right? For that, I'll just have to fly over. Or I could go eastward and try for that one. Hmm, maybe I should because that one's a little bit more out of the way which I don't have this one either, so it's it's actually two of them. So I'll mark that on my map and we'll start heading over. Sorry, Kulgara, maybe some other time. And then I could also, ooh, this one would be really good actually. I go back to my old builds, the one with the rocket, and put all of this together. Save so much time, or I just don't have to build. Even if I, if I have to spend six of this, it's not too bad, considering the time I save time and energy, which I like having time and energy, so if I can save as much of that as possible, I'll take it. So we had that light route activated. It's where we just were before. I just need to coast over this way. We got the depths airlines. Oh, there's the lava and stuff. Whoa, really? Okay, if that's the case, I know what we gotta change to. Gotta change to this stuff. If there's lava over here, it's gonna get really spicy really fast. Was well, not expecting lava under this section. As far as I'm aware, it's actually pretty cold in this region in the Northwest. Okay, well I'm still not quite seeing the light route. All I'm really seeing is the lava. You can see some some Poe in the middle of it. I don't know if I really need it. This is Gotham's Lava Falls. Wow. Ah, okay, I hit a wall. I hit a wall. Not good. Hold on tight. This is not good at all. Ah, wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> jump off, Link. Jump off. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's really not good. I just couldn't see that there was a wall in front of me. I really got to start building flashlights on those things. All right, get up here. I'm by the lava now. But we're so close. It's gotta be somewhere here. So if I just, real fast, boom. Uh, is it above? I mean, it could be, but it could also be, no, it has to be above. Because if I was standing here, it'd be below me. So that means it's above me here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's make sure I'm not yeah, equipping anything that's gonna burn up in the fire. Can I climb this? Oh, I can't believe I can actually climb that. Whoa, I might have to eat some food here to restore some stamina though. Let's do this one. And then keep jumping up. This is a lot more than I anticipated. Oh no, great. Back down here. There's no way I can just ascend it. Why not? I have a hard time, okay. You know what, I'm the silliest person there ever was. Uh, it was right here the whole time. <laughs> That's okay, it's okay. Uh, Muo to, to light route. Let's grab this one. I see another one in the distance already, which is great. So we get this one cleared out. Glad to see it. And there's that next light route. Okay. I don't wanna waste any time getting to that one then. We'll glide across this big cavern. And I'll just do what I can to get there. For this one, I can definitely ascend through some stuff. This is the Hebra Dark Skeleton, which if it's anything like the previous skeleton we've been to, if we can find the skull, there's gonna be a, whoa, there's gonna be a chest in there. That would be cool. Okay, um, so maybe I'll try to get over to that. I wanna ascend through this if I can. 
Why can't I? Let me live my life, game. That's all I wanted to do was ascend through that to get onto the top of it. That feels like a very doable thing. This whole slant is not going very well for me. I'm heading up here. Yeah, yeah, we got all these guys. Not very interested. Gonna keep moving. I've lost track of the of the light route, but it would probably just, yeah, be over there. I didn't realize it was so high up before. Huh. Okay. Good to know, I guess. But here's the skeleton. So if I can just glide over to that. Whoa, wait a minute. Have I gotten this one? No, I haven't. We're finding some cool stuff now. The Royal Claymore. Look at this. Awesome. Beautiful weapon. I'll make sure I have something dropped for it. I don't need uh, this rock hammer. The Royal Claymore Sparkle, a two-handed sword issued to the Hyrulean royal family's immediate guard detail, yields a powerful strike and increases the power of Flurry Rush during perfect dodge. Awesome. That was quite the reward in and of itself, but it's not all we're after. I will, that was a scary noise. I don't know what that was. Um. I just wanna get over here. You know, it probably was a horror one, because there's usually horror ones around here. I wanna get up here, and I think on the top of this, maybe, is a treasure chest? Yeah, okay, what does this one have? It is a horror one. Uh, Cap of the Wild. According to legend, this cap was crafted for a hero who travels the wild lands. Wearing it just feels so right. That's awesome. So if we go all the way down again, Cap of the Wild was right here. So we have the Cap of the Wild and the Tunic of the Wild, but not quite the rest of it. So we'll have to work on that at some point, but with that cleared out, I'm just heading over to, not that, but here. Awesome. Quite the moment to get that, but I have to travel really high up to get the next light route, I think. Which I definitely want to do, but I want to do it from the, the best possible position. So if I could triple up on my bright bloom seeds, just send them over there. That'll help me see a lot more about what in the world I'm even doing. Because right over here, there's something I can build a little building station, which will certainly be better. And also, we're not in a lava area anymore. I can climb with this stuff. Thank you. All right. Just like that. Okay, so more or less what I wanted, I just want to put this together with the flame emitter, but no flame emitter around here. That's okay. I can just spend the three points to make it. I'm okay with that. And with that, we're heading up. Hopefully just enough that I can get over to it. This is actually more in this direction. Which once again, I wanna sort of fire off one of those. There we go. Oh no. <laughs> That's making me realize we might hit the wall a little bit. Oh wait, is that it? That's gotta be it, okay. So if we get pushed over, it's not that big of a deal. I probably just want to, from here, glide over like this a little bit. That's one of those sections, yeah, where I can ascend all the way up if I desire. I don't really get those too much. You know, just like, especially with it right being by that shrine. I mean, I guess it could be useful if I didn't have that shrine. It would help me find it really fast. But uh, I do, so I'm not worrying about that. Instead, heading right over here. And we are activating yet another light route. I can't see what I'm landing on, but okay. That's actually a little tedious, that keeps happening. Just jump over here, Link. There. And we made it to the Kato Light Route. So this very northwestern part of the map is now cleared out. Excellent. But we're not done with that, right? I think there's still a little bit more we can discover down here, a little bit, quite a lot actually. The thing is about this area, south of us, is that I don't have many of the shrines I have one, two. So that does make it a little bit curious. 
I could start here and head over, or I could maybe just work in this direction. Where is this one? Right here. I'll make a marker for this one then, if I can. Uh, delete this one, and then go over here, and do that. It's sort of weird that I can't make it right on the X-Marth spot. And it's another, a third Colgara. Okay. Good to know, but still really weird. I keep running into you today. We're just becoming great friends. At this point, I just wanna, we got Sherfin's Lava Falls, which I'm guessing the Lava Falls would also have some kind of uh, chest associated with them. I just wanna get out of here. I just wanna keep moving. I mean, I see the Grand Poe over there. I don't know if that really leads to anything, but I just sort of wanna rile you up a bit just so that you can give me the, the boost. Thank you for this. Appreciate it. I'm going to use it to just get right over to that light route. And at this point, I don't have any markers left to find them, but I just know that in this northwestern area, there's light routes associated with shrines that I've yet to find. And if I can keep that in mind, I'll find them eventually. Quite the view we got up here. I just don't feel like fighting you. Almost there. I don't think I need a stamina boost or anything. Whoa, whoa, that gave me a refill. Oh, nice. Okay, good to know that's a thing. I forgot about that. When we fought Colgara, that was a thing. Almost there. The Nip Nupasuyawat light route. Right there. Which, once again, I think this is one we haven't found above ground. So that's really cool. And taking an additional look, that really leaves just a couple of tiny shrines, most of which we have discovered. The big one is here. How do I get down here? I don't know. Uh, but if I had to guess, it'd probably be something here? I don't know. Weird, isn't it? All right, well, um, and there's still so many over here. I need to find that. I'm probably just gonna try to find one more. If I could find this one, I think that'd probably be a good place to stop it for now. Oh wait, actually, let me get this. I need to get that anyways. There's still a lot more to find here, but you know, we, we spent a lot of time looking around for stuff. And I found some goodies. You know, we, we found a new boomerang. We found the one bunny helmet. Definitely some cool stuff. This is gonna be pretty high up though. So once I find a good position for it, maybe I could also, I don't know, I was thinking using your air boost again to get over there. Might not be too bad of an idea. Hey buddy, yeah, yeah. Just bring me up, okay? Because I don't know if it's going to be, because this one looks like, yeah, okay, so, so some of these lava sections have treasure chests. That has to be the case. So that's what I'm really gathering. Any kind of map marker, it, either it be a grove, a mine, or lava, whatever, if it has a marker on the map where it tells me what the location is, there's a chest there of some sort. Very likely a crystallized charge. But in some instances, like this one, that's not the case. Instead, it is a piece of gear of some sort. So let's go to exactly where it is. But now that we have found the very defined path pattern, it's really nice, the Sternida Lava Falls. It's right up there, I see it. Okay, so I'll get over to that. And I guess it's always by one of these grand pose. Open this one up. And inside, we get the cap of time. According to legend, this cap was once worn by a hero who traveled through time. A truly timeless item, perfect for kids and adults alike. And as you can see with this one, if I go all the way back down again, it was the cap of time right here. So I had the full set. We have the cap of time, the tunic of time, and the trousers of time. The full Oak Arena gear, very cool. Now I'm going to melt because of I'm standing here in the lava with this, but that was so awesome. I can remove this pin. We, we cleared out a ton here, but I think that's probably where I wanna keep it for the time being, because there's still quite a lot left to find that we'll save for next time. All right, so let's go, I guess, 
back to Lookout Landing? No, 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 we should go back home so I can put that boomerang into its slot. All right, so unfortunately, I actually don't have room for it. I would have to get an additional weapon thing, which, you know what, if I have to, so be it. What would I wanna remove then? I guess this little garden. The garden's nice, but do I need the garden when I can just get extra weapon things there? You know what, let's go for utility, you know? Hey, do you have construction requests? I do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that to be a weapon slot instead of a, a farm. Okay, so I got that all built. I'm just gonna run over here and put that boomerang up there, which is right over here. So, still just building up a little bit of a collection of all the unique pieces of gear that you can find. And this one goes just right in the center like this. Very cool. So we've done a great job. You can't put the master sword here, right? Pretty sure you can. not Yep, that's all right. We've done a great job. There's all sorts of cool, unique pieces of gear, and I'm sure we'll be finding more as we hop back into the depths later on. But man, we're getting a whole lot closer. The depth is almost cleared. We figured out a lot of the sky and stuff already. It's just more and more of the map has become accessible and explored, and that's amazing. So next time we're in the depths, we have this whole section, a couple of spots here to the west. I'll definitely have to spend some time above ground for a bit to actually clear other stuff out. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.